I think that's kind of a reprehensible way to treat young, <laughs> to treat young people. There was somebody who came in um, sort of posing as a senior volunteer, um, you know, a grown-up um, uh, mm -hmm. from the other campaign, came in and doing that, and basically got these young people talking in that fashion. You stand by your sure. statement that you would have been a yes vote? On I, would have, I would have been a yes with all the information that I had at the time I had to make that decision. The video released this week by the group Project Veritas Action after Democratic Senate candidate Phil Brennison surprised some supporters by announcing he would be a yes vote in favor of confirming Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. That video includes what Project Veritas Action calls undercover footage of Bredesen's U.S. Senate campaign staffers saying Bredesen's support of Kavanaugh was just a political move to appear moderate and win votes. I think that's kind of a reprehensible way to treat young to treat young people. Bredesen's campaign said the people in that video work for the Democratic Party, not the Bredesen for Senate campaign, and they were not speaking for the candidate. There was somebody who came in um, sort of posing as a senior volunteer, um, you know, a grown-up um, uh, from the other campaign, came in and doing that, and basically got these young people talking in that fashion. So she spent a month befriending these people. And then she shot this video of these young people talking about their opinion. Mark That's Brown with Tennessee Victory 2018, a group supporting Democratic candidates statewide, Did said this see? about the claim that the people in the video were part of Bredesen's staff. That is a lie. They do not work for Bredesen's Senate. They were not passing along any sort of strategy information. They were literally sitting around this water cooler talk. Project Veritas Action said that's a distinction without a difference, saying the individuals captured in our report work on Bredesen's campaign through the Tennessee Democratic Party and, in fact, were recorded in his campaign office. Meanwhile, a spokesman for Republican Senate candidate Marsha Blackburn responded to the video, saying of Tennessee voters, now they're seeing phony Phil at his worst. This is exactly the kind of say-whatever-to-get-elected politics Tennesseans hate.